Uh, I know what you're thinking. Is that, uh, that's Pete Davidson. He's doing really well. No, I know. Then, it, then I take my hat off and you're like, oh, is that, uh, is that Patrick Stewart? No, no. Vin Diesel, if he wasn't fast, but just furious? Angry about things? So if, if, uh, if Patrick and uh, Pete came in a bucket, I, I look like what crawled out nine months later, basically. Look like a, uh, a chemo patient from the show Dead to Me. Um, like a concentration camp prisoner on that show, The Patient, with Steve Carell. Those last two were true. I'm an actor, I actually was on those shows. Played those roles. I uh, was recently uh, on season three of Dead to Me, and they, um, I was in a scene with Christina Applegate and Linda Cardinelli in a cancer clinic as a chemo patient. And halfway through the scene, the director yelled, it's, it's true, halfway through the scene, the, the director yelled, cut. And they said, hey guys, we need to pull you out. We need to pull this guy. He's, he looks too sick. He looks, wait, this is true. He looks way too sick. Um, can, you, uh, can you get someone else in there? And then they put a six foot good looking black man like you. I know you're not six feet tall, but you're good looking black man. Uh, and uh, put him on the set and they reshot the scene and I was not in the show. Um, the makeup artist, I went back to the makeup artist who did the stuff for me, yeah. And the don't choke on your chicken there. Uh, um, you're gonna be all right. Uh, I, I literally said to the makeup artist, uh, you know, you did way too good of a job. You're way too good at making people look like they're dying of cancer. They literally took me out of the scene. I'm not in the show anymore. And she goes, no, that's not true. That's not true. And I go, no, it's, it's, it's true. You did. And so she felt really bad. And Jews are really good at, we're good at, um, I'm Jewish if you hadn't noticed. I don't know if you guys have figured that out yet. But probably you may have deduced. Um, anyway. Um, so yeah, she, she got the Jewish guilt, which we're instilled with at a young age. The second they slice off our foreskin, we're feeling guilty about life. Mostly hoping that our parents feel guilty about what they did to us now. No, it's great. No schmegma. Happy schmegmalist. Um, schmegmalist life is, is what I'm really loving. Uh, I'm anti schmegma. Um, uh, so, yeah. I thank you. One lady in the place applauded, so we're doing well. I see you are a cut above the rest, my friend. <laughs> Talking about your penis. Hopefully that's all right. Um, yeah, so anyway. Holy fuck, man. Kanye West, right? Jesus. Every time I think uh, he's going to do something else, it keeps getting funnier. Hello. Not really. Uh, somehow Alex Jones is the good guy today. <laughs> what the fuck is happening in our world? Uh, he walks Kanye back on his I love Nazis. Somehow, he's now Kanye loves Jews, too? I'm really confused. Like, last week... He hated Jews, he was going to go DEF country. Now he's on Alex Jones saying, uh, don't get me wrong, I, I love Jews, but I also love Nazis. I love Nazis and I love Jews. You don't get to love both, okay? You, it's like you're a Coke person or you're a Pepsi person. <laughs> Thank you, guys. My name is Evan Shackman. I didn't mean to do that weird like Nazi salute thing at the end. Just the wave will do. Thank you.